reptile lover Chris Weller has put together an extraordinary collection of exotic pets. What are you doing? Don't you upset them. Oi, come on out of there. Over the years, Chris's homemade zoo has attracted plenty of media attention. I like showing the animals off, I like getting, showing them in a good light, so they give a good account of themselves, because I want to see them get a good press. Reptiles in the past perhaps have been treated as a cold-blooded animal that's got no sense or no feeling, and, and this isn't true, it's far from the truth. Today, a journalist and photographer from a national newspaper are coming to interview Chris and take a tour of his menagerie. I'm Chris, that's it. Mr. Croc. Yeah, well, I'll come for following right, me through. Thank you very much. Okay, but he's ready for his close-up, is he? First up, journalist Andy and photographer Tim meet Caesar, the Cayman crocodile. And how long have you had Caesar, sir? I've had Caesar about three years. Three years. Um, how do you go about acquiring a crocodile? Because obviously you can't just ring a catalogue and say, I'll have... No, some places do stop them. Really? It's quite legal to have one, but why you got the licence to go with it? So they are there to be purchased, but they're usually sold in very small specimens, about that size. What do the neighbours think? If a cat or dog, a little dog, goes missing, are they? Are you the first or they knock well, on? They can't get out of the house. I, I just think if I lived next door and I had a cat and it went missing, I'd be thinking, where, where's that yeah, crocodile? Has yeah. he got in? Yeah. How fast can the crocodile move? Quite fast if he wants to. Yeah, they like all How fast things. fast? <laughs> like in the water, you know, you just, yeah, you know, just go off, go off, go off. It's quite impressive. Yeah. If I put my finger down here... No, it's not the worst thing to do. Well, you go, yeah. you go with it, yeah. all right. Right. Next, it's Rocky the Iguana. So, is Rocky the boss of the house? Well, he likes it. They all like the thing now, of course. If he beat you, how, are you, how hard is it? Well, no, it one that took someone's ear off, put that much. Someone that took someone's ear off? Yeah. Why reptiles? Is this something you've always loved when you were a kid? And you were going, well, right, now I've got to ask myself. I, I like reptiles basically because this planet was designed for reptiles initially. The fascination is these are animals from a past history of the planet far older than what we are. Finally, it's time for monitor lizard Hector to meet the press. In the, don't forget in the wild, if you can go near them, they are aggressive and people will just keep out of their way, basically, entirely. And they just walk down the high street and everyone goes the other side of the road, you know. But here, he's, he's got used to modern life as such. And therefore... Well, he's got a TV. Yeah, that's right. He's got Coronation Street on, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris's animal family have become accustomed to being in the limelight. Yeah, Hector does enjoy attention. Even the, the crocodile has had pictures taken of him now that a year ago people would never would have got. There's ways around in all these animals to try and get them into a good setting so they can come over quite nice to the, to the public, basically. And his unlikely zoo has made a lasting impression on the journalists. It's not often you come to a two-bed bungalow and find a crocodile under the stairs and an iguana in the front room and a monitor lizard lurking in the hallway. I think I'm all right to go around there during the day, but if I had to sleep the night there, it's not uh, Chris's house isn't somewhere where you'd want to sleep on the sofa, I don't think. Ilford. Southwest Essex. For 24 year old Sonny Betty, reptiles are not just pets, they're workmates. As far as I'm aware, I'm the only male belly dancer with snakes in Essex. I've always had a passion for snakes, I think it's in me to love them. Um, so I thought, yeah, why not bring it out onto stage and show my true colours? Sonny's current dance partner is 10 foot albino green faced python, Carr. The reason I chose albino snakes rather than ordinaries is because of the wow factor. I've always loved snakes, they're beautiful animals. I think they're elegant, they're regal. Albino pythons are known for their docile nature, so Carr is an ideal partner for a snake dancer. That's way to describe him, he's kind of like a scarf. He literally does just dangle on you. Like there's no work that has to be put in. The only work that you've got to do is make sure you've got a good hold of him. But recently, Carr has been even more docile than usual. But he's not very well at the moment. He's suffering from a respiratory infection, so he's a little bit narky at the minute. Doesn't want to be handled, doesn't 